Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today being the first Saturday of the month, we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, our mother and model. Let us ask for her intercession for the peace in the country, in the world, and peace in our own families. To make ourselves less unworthy of this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Cry, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body. And through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses on Mount Sinai, Seven weeks of years shall you count, seven times seven years, so that the seven cycles amount to 49 years. Then, on the tenth day of the seventh month, let the trumpet resound. On this, the day of atonement, the trumpet blast shall re-echo throughout your land. This fiftieth year you shall make sacred by proclaiming liberty in the land of all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you when every one of you shall return to his own property, every one to his own family estate. In this 50th year, your year of jubilee, you shall not sow, nor shall you reap the aftergrowth or pick the grapes from the untrimmed vines. Since this is the jubilee, which shall be sacred for you, 
you may not eat of its produce, except as taken directly from the field. In this year of Jubilee, then, every one of you shall return to his own property. Therefore, when you sell any land to your neighbor or buy any from him, do not deal unfairly. On the basis of the number of years since the last Jubilee, shall you purchase the land from your neighbor. And so also, on the basis of the number of years for crops, shall he sell it to you. When the years are many, the price shall be so much more. When the years are few, the price should be so much less. For it is really the number of crops that he sells you. Do not deal unfairly, then, but stand in fear of your God. I, the Lord, am your God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. The earth has yielded its fruits. God, our God, has blessed us. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. Please stand. Spirit and life, you have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard of the reputation of Jesus and said to his servants, This man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Now Herod had arrested John bound him and put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. For John said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill him, he feared the people, for they regarded him as a prophet. But at a birthday celebration for Herod, the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guests and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed. But because of his oaths and the guests who were present, he ordered that it be given, and he had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse 
and buried him. And they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Our Gospel this morning is full of dead people. The first dead person is obviously John the Baptist. Normally, in a party, what we see is ulo ng lechon. But here in the party, what we see is ulo ni Juan. He was dead because he was truthful. The others may be alive, living persons, but they are also dead. They are already dead. The first dead person was the daughter of Herodias. She did not do anything bad, but she did not do anything good either. She went to her mother asking, what should I ask? In return to the beautiful dance that she performed. She was the kind of person who is neutral, neutral, even before the face of evil. Yun yung mga klase ng taong, ay, ayoko makialam dyan, no? Gagawin ko lang kung ano yung utos sa akin. May mga ganun tao, ayaw manindigan. Playing safe. Iwas posoy. They are alive, but they are already dead. Because they are men and women without principles. Are we that kind of person? Ayaw makialam kahit na sa harap ng pagkakamali o kamalian. Ayaw magulo ang buhay. So that's the first alive person who is already dead. The second person who is dead already, even if she's alive, is Herodias, the wife of Philip the brother of Herod. She knew that what she was doing was evil and immoral, but she doesn't care. She did not care. As long as she is happy with what she was doing. Kahit mali. At gagawin niya ang alin, ang anuman, ang kahit ano, at itatabi niya ang mga sagabal sa kanyang balakin, masunod lang ang kanyang gusto. Spoiled brat. Immoral person. Are we also like that? That sometimes we have ambition in life and we will do anything to get to our ambition kahit na tuntungan natin ang ating kapwa, kahit na gamitin natin ang ating kapwa, wala tayong pakialam. Basta ang importante sa akin, marating ko yung aking gusto. Marating ko yung aking ambisyon. Doon ako, sa, doon ako liligaya. Doon ako masaya. Wala akong pakialam kung meron akong matapakan o masagasaan. That is Herodias. Alive, and yet already dead. And the final dead person was, of course, Herod, a coward. A coward who was after what people would say about him. Ano na lang iisipin ng tao kung babawiin ko yung aking sinabi? Pinangakuan niya yung dalaga Ang galing-galing mong sumayaw. Sige, hilingin mo kahit anong gusto mo. Eh, yung hiningi ng dalaga ay eh, ulo ni Juan. Anong ginawa ni, Herod, ni Herodes? Pinagbigyan. 
kahit alam niyang mali, sapagkat ayaw niyang mapahiya. Ayaw niyang mapahiya. Duwag. Duwag. Buhay, pero patay. Humihinga pa, pero wala nang buhay. Are we like Herod? who will do what is contrary to his principles who will do what is contrary to her to to to, to their uh, to their beliefs wag lang mapahiya yun yung commission yun sa mga barkada eh, no okay yung mga barkadahan oh sige na sumama ka na sa amin no? ikaw naman wala kang pakikisama no alika no Merong magandang bagong chicks dun sa sa ano sa bar no May asawa ka anong gagawin mo Sasabihin mo bang hindi may asawa ko o bahala na no wag lang sanang malaman ni Mrs ha no yon Mali pero gagawin kasi ayaw makanchawan Ayaw mapahiya. Our gospel of this morning is full of dead people. John the Baptist is dead, but he is still alive. The rest are alive, but they are already dead. Amen. Please stand. Gathered together in Christ, who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life, and so help restore a fallen world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That warring nations may learn to live in harmony and mutual cooperation in bringing peace to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may come to the promised everlasting home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us lift up to the Lord our personal prayers as well as the intentions being offered in this Mass. Almighty God and Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son, the conqueror of sin and death, he who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy. holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please, be, please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, we pray to our common Father in heaven. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, indifference, immoralities, but on the faith of your church, and grac graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you.